Okay, next up is The Road, a very original and different post-apocalyptic type film. Because while there's really no stereotypical post-apocalyptic happenings in this film, for starters, there's no explanation as to why America is in the shape it is in and why it is the way it is, but really it's not necessary and I'd rather they not come up with an explanation and give us some tacky, Hollywoodized one. Viggo Mortensen gives a ruggedly aggressive performance as a character merely known as The Man. And young Cody Smith McPhee gives a really nice performance as a young child among the ruins. When we often see movies where many of the stereotypes portray people as gun-toting madmen who are heroes merely because the plot calls for it and it's really nothing within their character even inside. In this film, that is simply not the case, as we get a surreal look of how some of these people are surviving. The man only has one gun, but two remaining bullets, and he and his son push a shopping cart along like a pair of hobos. They come across some very interesting characters as well, including a scene stealing performance from the great legendary Oscar winner Robert Duvall, great to still see him working, even pushing into his 80s, as well as Guy Pierce. Now, the, this film doesn't read like a prototype. It reads almost as a strange sort of commentary, dare I say, of about as realistic as a near death society would be. This movie really conveys what a world would be like if something like this were to happen in reality. Do I know that for sure? Obviously not. And maybe, and maybe others won't see it that way, but in my eyes, it's exactly what it did for me as a movie. Charlie Theron is really good here in the flashback scenes as well as the, the wife, the, the mother of the kid. And it, normally a film like this would focus on the flashback scenes as the good old days. But things between the man and his wife weren't all sunshine and roses. Things weren't going so good, at, as a matter of fact. But what this movie tells us is that the man and his boy would rather have her back in their lives despite all that because it's better than where they are now. Now, Mortensen is nothing short of amazing her as he has in many other films. And he gives his best performance since A History of Violence. He may seem like a typical flawed hero on the surface, and while his flaws are present, it's the fact that he's not trying to be triumphant or anything like that, which is what makes him such a sympathetic character. He's a guy trying and wanting to survive and to keep him himself and his son alive in any way they can. I think anyone in the world can relate to that sort of aspect. Now, Theron is also excellent here. She provides a great background of what once was in the world and takes a role that very well could have been one-dimensional and helps add to the importance that the writers actually gave it. Now, the road is a journey that just keeps you enamored and moves along steadily and surely without taking it over the top. It's a journey that has no map, and that is what makes it interesting because you cannot tell what may happen. This film was a very positive experience. It's very interesting, and it'll just keep you focused throughout. I give the road four stars out of five.